and welcome to my channel and today we are playing Grow Castle. I uploaded a video a little bit earlier ago. I said that I'd go to level 100 and pretty much play from there and show you guys what new stuff is available and so forth and so forth. So uh, since the last time I was on here we have something new right here with the dragon. Um, I'll go into him in a second. We have the guild right here like here. If you do go into a girl, go into a girl, level up or do a couple of waves when you first uh, unlock the guild. That I think it's like level 70 or 75 or something like that. Um, so I'd suggest doing that. Um, I would say that usually they usually kick you out if you don't uh, do many waves. But I'm going to stop at uh, wave 100. Uh, until I'm ready to start progressing. If they kick me out, they kick me out, but otherwise then that's fine. Um, the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is also this right here. So under the colony uh, map, there is a map here. Now, as you can see, uh, the ones in red, uh, sorry, the ones in white are the ones that I've already colonized. For each colonize, uh, colony gives you 10,000, right, roughly about 10,000 um, gold per. And there's you it, over here. I'll tell you how many are in the thing. What I'd suggest doing is um, doing them as soon as possible. Every 10 minutes, you get uh, this amount of gold, depending on how many you've actually uh, been able to defeat. Now what I will suggest is when it first comes on because it resets every I think seven days so when it resets go in do them straight away or else they're going to be full. Now unfortunately because I come into the party a little bit late as you can see uh, here the one that's not uh, red right here I'm going to click on it uh, population it's full it's in red. Uh, if they're in green, it means there's a spot open, you can go in without having to spend uh, money on it. So if I go onto this one, this is, okay, this is, uh, I need a defense of 243, but it's full. So if I end up trying to go to battle, I have to pay 5 crystals for each one that is full if I want to go in and colonize it. So it's much better to do that when you first get in. Um, if it resets, then do as many as you possibly can before they get all full. So I'm going to just uh, do the rest. Uh, I didn't. I, I wanted to do a couple because there's like 29, which at the cost of 5 gems each, I didn't want to keep, uh, keep doing it like that. And then I've got the two up here, um, right here, I'm going to pay that like so I can uh, use my things here I don't tend to use any of my people on my uh, on my tower anyway because I'm a bit too uh, high for that and then uh, the last one is right here so that's one of the new things suggestion do them as soon as you possibly can every 10 minutes so now every 10 minutes I will get 293,067 in gold, which is amazing. Uh, on the colony, um, I've, I haven't really focused much on the colony. Uh, I think I can do 430, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try and do it now. Uh, let's just do all these. It's going to take me a little while in order to do it. Uh, not as uh, quick as usual, but yeah, quick enough. Uh, my MP is running low at the moment, so I need to upgrade my castle. I just haven't been bothered much with that at the moment. So I can still, I can beat a 430 wave uh, quite considerably easy anyway. And I have been developing because I've got quite a bit of gold as well. Don't forget, if you haven't got the gold, 
um, developing doesn't really do much so just do that when you have got gold instead of right at the beginning of the game what else is new okay so I'm still need uh, gems in order to do the monster lab I haven't really focused much on it at the moment but if we go back onto the tower you'll see this little dot at the uh, bottom here if you click on it it will bring up that now I have bought this lightning castle and I put it in my third spot because I want to make that um, I want to make that as my um, point in order to uh, kill the flying machines as you can see it says chain lightning attack stronger to flying monsters cannot attack too close to the monster which is why when I uh, have upgraded the uh, effects on some of the monsters in the monster lab I put lightning and got and cold damage to any of the monsters because that's what I'm going to do so as you can see um, I'm going to need uh, I'm going to end up needing gems in order to upgrade them. I don't want to upgrade that now because I want to actually buy another one. Uh, there's four tiers in total. So that's 120 gems and I've already bought one. So I'm just going to buy another. I'm going to buy it on top and I'm going to buy a, 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 a baluster. A baluster? Giant arrow attack stronger to flying monsters. Cannot attack too close to a monster. So those are my two that I'm going to put onto the... Um, onto the top right here I won't upgrade them yet I'll probably um, do buy another one I'll probably buy uh, I don't know uh, what's the gold uh, I don't even know um, I'll, I'll figure something else I'll probably put poison castle there uh, for a bit more damage and then at the bottom I'll probably put a uh, uh, lightning castle or something like that um, poison kind of some of the thorns at the entrance which is uh, I, th I think that's a spelling mistake but yeah uh, probably I'll do one of them or anything like that uh, frozen castle is a good one because cold damage and lightning damage as well uh, if I'm focusing on damage so that's uh, one thing you should um, Think about doing. Uh, let's let's go back. As you can see now, um, that's and then we have oh sugar. Okay. <laughs> so as you can see, I've got my money here. I haven't really been buying anything of my uh, HP to my um, castle or anything. I'm trying to upgrade them at the same time. Although that's a bit idiotic since. Um, I should really be upgrading the castle, uh, well, I should really be updating the um, archers further along than the actual HP because the HP is quite a considerably bit more money in order to do that. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to sell my dark crystals right here. Because, uh, yeah, I like to do that. And then I'm going to go on to the dragon. And we're going to try and kill the green dragon uh, here. I haven't actually tried it. It says it seems impossible to kill the, uh, kill the dragon. So battle him right here. And I'm not even going to do anything. I'm just going to let it do it himself. And as you can see, uh, I'm annihilating this guy right here. Like, like seriously, I am annihilating the green dragon. And then afterwards they kind of go after this chest which gives you a bit of money. And then you get a um and then you get one of these as well. Uh a thingy. So I don't really want an MP cost uh, minus 2.4 because then what I'm gonna try and do is any of the um, equipment for gold or uh, attack I'll probably keep and pull on my uh, characters, but I don't really need it. So I can either sell for a hundred thousand or uh, if I wanted to um, get some S-Class thingies, I'll press the material and it will change my hammer into one of the material. So I'm going to do that. Now here you go, as you can see it's in my inventory here and if I click on that and try and sell it, it only, it's only going to sell for 50,000 so just keep that in mind. But that's why we have the forge here. If you want to change your forge materials, here's where you do it. 
Uh, if I go down, I'll check this here with uh, these here. As you can see, I can either get uh, an A stone, which will cost me 25 of these. <clears throat> I don't even know what that is. A B stone, or I can uh, I can accumulate 1,250 uh, for an S stone. I don't really. I think the S stone. Okay, S stones are here. So if I end up doing five of them, I can uh, exchange it for an accessory um, or uh, a weapon. But I'd need uh, I need diamonds in order to do that as well. Uh, so I don't really do that. I just I just wing it mostly. <laughs> Uh, I think at the beginning of the game you don't really need to accumulate them, so it's best just to sell. Um, so I'm just going to sell this, I've lost 50,000. But that's one way to get a lot of um, a lot of gold quickly, is just to kill the green dragon when you can. And just keep killing the green dragon over and over and over again, uh, in order to, um, you know, do it. So currently I'm on wave 100, uh, as you can see, oh sugar, should have got that one. Okay, so as you can see I'm on wave 100, but on the green dragon I need at least uh, 200 dam or, or 200 uh, defense, which is the equivalent of 200 waves. And as you can see from my um, characters on my uh, tower, I'm just, uh, I'm just overpowering to pretty much everyone so another way um another thing that uh you probably don't know is up here as you can see you got the uh globe where we are and you got this globe which you requires 150 wave and then that one that requires 200 wave i'm not going to focus on that at the moment um mainly because i just want to what i want to do is i want to do all four here and then upgrade them to like about 50 or something like that you don't have to do what I do if you don't want to. It's what I'm going to do uh, for myself. So down here, as you can see, on here, if I press on this little swords, cross swords, if I go down there, it will tell me my battle results from the last battle that I did. So if you go into Hal, uh, it will tell you how much uh, gold you got from the monsters, what your battle results were. Um, this are these four. Yeah, the um, so yeah, it'll tell you what gives the most uh, strength and blah 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 and so and so forth and so forth. So if you're interested in that, then it would be uh, good to keep your eye on that. Okay, so I what I'm gonna try and do is I don't think I can defeat him, but I'm just gonna try and see if I can kill the black dragon. Black dragon. And I don't think I can. Yeah, no, I think I'm getting over uh, powered here. So I'm just going to come out of here, actually. Because there's no way I'm going to do that. Um, but I can actually upgrade my stuff as well. So another thing I wanted to show you guys, one more thing. If you actually want to defeat on one thing only. So if, say like for my Hawk Droid, if I click on that and click on the cross sword that's a AI uh, it's pretty much automatic um, well auto intelligence where it, it does it itself it'll attack whatever first or if I wanted to say uh, attack flying monsters first or attack the boss or uh, anything with the low HP or near the tower or anything like that I can do it but I'm not going to do that um, on my last say that I did uh, before actually starting these videos, I pretty much took everything to uh, kill the dragon and it was the only way I can actually kill the dragon so there's that. Um, another thing I've actually upgraded is colony gold and also the colony gold cooldown. Uh, so if I click on that. Uh, each for 54 seconds I get um, 20,913 so again I'm gonna do something like this I'm gonna use my angels because they pretty much uh, do thingy and also I'm gonna 
click on the first three on my thing. It does take quite a while on the higher levels in order to uh, do the castle unless you have a, a lot of damage. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> come on, come on. And as you can see my guy season here is just taking the 290,000 to my castle. And as you can see, I was victorious. I'm going to develop as so. So if if you come here, oh, so bad, where is it? Mm. okay. So if you come out of here, as you can see, every 54 seconds, my guy comes with the uh, colony. Uh, you can buy actually some of these stuff. Stuff. Uh, I've, I've unlocked this here so I can put that there if I want to. Colony gold cooldown, 10% uh, so I can go back in here. And I get that every 49 seconds instead of 54 now, uh, which will help me. Um, I've got nothing else to put there anyway. So that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, I'm just going to keep grinding on these, this green dragon, try and get as lot as money as possible and actually upgrade these because I've been neglecting to do that, uh, to upgrade them. Um, probably get to a certain point where I can actually defeat the thingy. But as you can see on my, uh, I've just got one thing to say, okay, so I'm going to take off this, I'm going to take off her, I'm going to take off all my stuff and I'm going to show you guys something. Okay, so it's gonna take this is gonna take me quite some time actually. Take off. Zeus, take off. Succubus, take off. Uh, Angel, take off. Okay, uh, Elizabeth, take off. Flame, take off. Take off. And Windy. Okay, so that's it. I've got no uh, guys on my castle. I've just got these. So not not the dragon, but I've just got these four here, and also my archers. So I'm gonna replay. I'm gonna do wave 100 to see if I can actually kill them within, uh, without uh, suffering too much damage. Uh, but as you can see, even with my archers and my other stuff, I'm kind of still uh, strong. But as you can see from the wave 40, it. it I'd, I'd be over by now this uh, battle but wave 100 it's taking a bit longer than usual so uh, that's why I said do everything in the beginning of the game because it's quicker that way and now we're on a boss as you can see it's it reaches my thingy but I didn't need any of my guys here in order to kill uh, the thingy Anyway, that's it for this guys, uh, this video guys, um, I hope you've enjoyed it, I'll try and upload this today because the last video that I uploaded it took about an hour to process the video on, well, an hour to process 5% video, so <laughs> we'll see how this works. If you do like this video then please give it a thumbs up, um, and also if uh, you want, comment in the... Uh, comment section below your wave and anything that you've uh, found to be helpful that would be uh, appreciated. Until next time, I'll talk to you later. Ta-ra.